Hi everyone, it's Louisa and um, it's my birthday. Well, actually I'm filming this on July 31st, so it's my nephew's birthday and it's Harry Potter's birthday, but it is my birthday season and I have some birthday magic mail to open as well as a bunch of pins. So you're not gonna wanna miss this one. <laughs> Everything in this video is going to be birthday magic mail specifically, but I'll kind of explain how all of these things kind of flow together. And I just want to thank some people, but we're going to unbox a ton of pins. We got birthday magic mail and then we have a pin trade package. So let's just, let's just roll right on into it. Okay. All right. So first up, this is a pin trade with my good friend Lauren over at Castles Capes and Clones. So this is not birthday mail per se, but he was involved with the Fantastic Pins and J. Cruz and Mouseketeer Revy live sale. He was a big part of that, at least in the comments with me. And so he's also just a good friend of mine. And so since I'm opening and unboxing all my pins from that live pin sale, um, I thought I would include this one as well. So, uh, so this is a pin trade I did with my friend Lauren. So definitely check him out. He is such a nice guy, such a nice guy. I'm excited. This is our, I told him, I think this is going to be the first pin trade of many for us. Okay. Whoa. Look at this card. Emperor's new groove card. You don't really see many of those. Look at that. It says, Dear Louisa, thank you so much for doing this trade with me. I love the three fairies. I hope you enjoy your Sith Donald, your friend eternally, Lauren. Aw, what a sweet guy. So yes, I did trade one of the uh, Loungefly Sleeping Beauty blind box pins. Blind box, blind box. Okay, just wanna make sure I said that right. Um, with him for this pin. And I actually have a funny Star Wars pin collection kind of going on. I'm gonna have a pin collection video up here soon so you guys can see it because I've done a lot of things with my pin collection and it's growing. Um, but I do, I have had a kind of funny Star Wars pins collection for a little bit and this was the perfect edition and I just had to trade for it. So we have, we have Donald as Darth Maul and it says join the duck side. How amazing is that? First of all, I don't really see a lot of Darth Maul stuff, you know, Disney stuff. And then I just think it's hilarious that this is Donald. So I love that. Join the duck side. So thank you so much for the trade, Lauren. Now I'm going to go in to the majority of this video, like 75 to 80% of what this video is going to be. And that is my haul of pins and other merchandise that I got from Frantastic Pins live Instagram sale at the end of July. She does these pin sales with J. Cruz Pins and Mouseketeer Ravi. I will have all of their Instagrams uh, linked down below or, you know, where to find them. But basically, this is the second sale that I have taken part in and it's just been so much fun. I took part in their one at the end of June and I would have done a haul video for that one, but that was when I had all my Disney trip vlogs going up. And so I was like, I, I have way too many videos going on right now. So we're gonna not do a haul for this. But I knew I had to do a haul for the second sale because I ended up with another huge lot of stuff so um also this is kind of counting as birthday stuff because punzi's palace aka libby uh earned or won 15 dollars sale credit and she actually ended up gifting that to me for the sale for a little birthday present and that really meant a lot to me that was so sweet of her and um yeah it meant a lot and so thank you so much. So part of this is because of Libby. Thank you so much. Um, and then also I got myself so much stuff because I don't know, kind of treating myself for my birthday, I guess. Um, I probably will not be able to keep going this hard on um, their pin sales, but they are such a really good time and I just decided to treat myself and they had really amazing deals um, this time. So I, I just couldn't help myself, but it's a good time. I get to hang out with friends. So let's just like launch right on into it. <laughs> Give this video a like if you think I should get a P.O. box. Just survey. I'm curious. 
much. This is what my box looks like. So here we go. All right. See, I kind of forgot some of the stuff that I got. So this is going to be fun to go back through it. All righty. So the first thing I got is actually not a pin related item. And it's actually these inflatable kind of like fruit Mickey ears, summer ears, it's a sweet summer on the side there. But I have seen these, I mean, I think they came out last summer, I think. Um, but I've seen these um, at the Character Warehouse. They've been on sale on Shop Disney, but there hasn't been a price that has made me go, I, I'll get those for that price. And I got these at the sale for six dollars so i just had to step up on that i think they're a really cute design i don't really have quote unquote summer ears um and so i just couldn't help myself so this is the first thing i got and i'm very happy that i did Woohoo! here's the start of my love for chip and dale so first up in terms of the chip and dale pins we actually have two and i got two for the price of 10 and it's really cute it's each of them kind of a with a peanut peanut shell so i think that's super cute and two pins each one five dollars that's awesome then i got this one for five dollars originally they had it for eight and it's just the two of them kind of on this like diamonds i've never seen this pin before so i just thought it was kind of cool so we have that pin we have this stormtrooper egg one that was um twelve dollars this is actually a hong kong disneyland pin and it is like a stormtrooper egg and so i got this one for twelve dollars um and i got it because i felt like it would fit with my funny star wars pin collection so and i just thought it was cool and stormtroopers are kind of the color of eggs so i thought it worked out well and then for five dollars i got this lounge fly um princess aurora ice cream cone i love Aurora, she's one of my favorite princesses and I love Sleeping Beauty. And so I decided to get this for my collection. I love it with the pink and the blue. And then this next one, we actually have a mini one and it is one of the mini main attraction pins from those sets from last year. And I never got any merchandise, none of the ears or the pins or anything until now from those sets. But I just saw this by itself for $12 and I said she looks super cute and dapper, so I'm just gonna get this pin. So there you go. Next pin is uh, one of Disney's Tarzan. You never see Tarzan pins, or no one really talks about Tarzan, and like Tarzan has a bop and soundtrack. Oh man, I could talk about Phil Collins and that soundtrack all day. But anyways, <laughs> this was 12. And then we have another Chip and Dale pin. This was originally 10, but they marked it down to eight. And it's kind of scary. Their eyes are red, so they look a little devilish um but anyways it's chip and dale and they're in a heart so it's pretty cute but now i like can't unsee their eyes being red mm. <laughs> and that's when louisa stopped being obsessed with chip and dale this was a zap because i was like i don't remember buying this <laughs> but it is a jawa i do not believe so cool uh, don't really know what set or anything that this is from. I might actually give this to my nephew because um, I decided to start him on Disney pin trading and I got him a Star Wars lanyard and I got him a few Star Wars pins. So I think I will actually be giving this to my nephew. I think he might like it, but this was a zap. So it's very nice of them to include extras and have fun prizes. This one was for 35 and it's Walt Disney Imagineering chip. And it's like his like ID card. Disney ID card and I just thought that was really really cool um of course it doesn't feature like both Chip and Dale but um I really liked it and thought it was really special so I just had to get it so um yeah yay so then we have two pins and the first one is like of Chip and Dale for Halloween um and they have like fedoras on and I just thought it was really cute so, and it's Chip and Dale, so of course, had to get it. And then we have a Princess Aurora and Princess Philip pin, and I think I got this for 18, but I don't really have pins of the two of them, so. And I like Prince Philip, I think he's a good Disney prince, so why not? Then we have this Hades pin from the Hercules mystery pin set. Um, I like Hades and I think Hades was kind of the only one I wanted out of that mystery set. I wasn't too interested in the other pins. I don't know why, but I do love Hercules. I love the movie, so 
I don't know, you think I'd be all over that set. But I just kind of wanted the Hades and she had Hades. So I got this one for $6 by itself. This one is exciting because I don't have too many Daisy pins, but I actually really do like Daisy Duck. I think she's very fashionable. I think she's just awesome. And she's one of my favorite characters to meet in the parks. So I got this uh, Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin and it is of Daisy and like this glittery blue dress. She looks stunning. And you know, she has a script and just, it's so Hollywood. I love it. And I got this for $14. So amazing. And then I got this open edition Pluto because they were doing $5 pins. And this one was just sitting by himself and no one was claiming him. And I was like, how can no one claim that face? Look at how cute he is. I couldn't leave him there unclaimed. And for $5, an open edition pin, I was like, yeah, I got you, Pluto. I got you. For the funny Star Wars pin collection, that collection has really increased today. Um, we have a gingerbread stormtrooper. And this was for $6. Yay. And then last two pins, I got both of these pins for $5, which is awesome. And they were Summer and Summer, Donald, and Daisy. So $5, two pins, that's awesome. So I'm very happy with that. And to complete the package of what I got from the sale, um, I got these Chip and Dale stamps. Um, and they're from Daiso. Is it, Am I saying that correctly? Is it Daiso? <laughs> um, and they were only two dollars and i thought you know as a dance teacher we give out stamps we give out stickers i was like we could have some chip and dale ones that'd be super cute um and i don't live near a, a daiso so yay awesome deal you couldn't see it yay awesome deal um and then i think everything else is a prize so we have a love mickey decal we have Monsters, Inc. stickers. These are super cute. Love those. And then we also got, oh, super cute Daisy, Daisy duck bag. And then we also got um, just a fun little sticker package of Princess Jasmine. So, and then this teal rocket because you know, jasmine, teal, turquoise, rocket, teal, turquoise, it all works out. That's everything I got from that Instagram live sale. Again, that was hosted by Frantastic Pins, J. Cruz Pins, and Mouseketeer Revy. So I highly recommend you check out their sales. Um, their prices were amazing and I got a lot of great stuff. So, and of course, wanna give another shout out to Quincy's Palace for giving me that present of sale credit of $15. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And now we're getting into the last bit of this video, which is going to be birthday magic mail. And um, before I hop into my package of birthday magic mail, uh, I wanted to send a shout out to Cami, AKA Key to Disney. I don't know about you all, um, cause I, I feel like a lot of us are kind of in similar boats, but maybe not. July was really hard for me mental health wise. Um, I have been diagnosed with OCD um, and my OCD causes depression and anxiety. Um, so, and I have been suffering with that. I was diagnosed in 2016. So I've been suffering with that for uh, five years at this point. Um, but it just felt like this month of July, it has just been really bad. And I just, I've been feeling really down. Um, and I just feel like I haven't really been myself. And um, it's hard when you make a lot of progress with your mental health and then you feel like you're taking a thousand steps backwards and you're like gosh I haven't grown at all but then you know it just takes a moment and you're like I have grown um and anyways uh so July's just been kind of rough for me um I'm starting to feel better and I I think I'm finally getting out of this rough patch um but Cami kind of knew that I wasn't um doing so hot feeling so hot and she did send me a um Starbucks gift card uh to just kind of treat me which was so nice of her thank you so much cammy that's so sweet um i really appreciate it and uh, thank you thank you so much for that happy birthday magic mails so it says happy birthday louisa and it has that beautiful beautiful handwriting and there is a card 
Oh, look at that. Nice and green. That's beautiful. Um, it says, Dear Louisa, happiest of birthdays to you. I hope this will bring a smile on your special day. Heart Kelly. So thank you so much, Kelly. I'm opening this a little bit early. Um, hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> um, but this video is going up the day before my birthday. So, but you're starting my birthday off on a great note. Great note, my birthday season. So thank you. All right. And here we go. We have a little, little package. Oh man, I love this like rainbow sparkly glitter sequins, whatever they are. Tissue paper. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Ooh, child, I'm scared. Kelly, what'd you do? What did you do? <gasps> Kelly, you should not have. Well, we can add another pin to this haul. Um, she sent me a Disney Lounge Fly moving enamel pin, limited edition, and it is of Winnie the Pooh with bees. He is a bee and a big honey pot. And this is a limited edition of 960. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't even know that this pin existed. I'm so bad about like lounge fly releases. I'm like, I need to get more into lounge fly, but wow, look at that you guys. And it's a two backer. Um, Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. This is throwing me off of how I'm collecting my Winnie the Pooh pins or how I'm displaying them though, because this is way bigger than where I, like this, this pin is way bigger than the space I kind of have for them right now, but I probably need to expand that anyway. But anyways, um, wow, Kelly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome. And it was just so sweet of you to send some magic mail. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And a big thank you to everyone mentioned in this video, to Lauren at Castles, Capes and Clones, Fantastic Pins, J. Cruz Pins, Masketeer Ravi, hope I'm saying that right, sorry. Uh, Punzi's Palace, Livy, and Cami, and Akita Disney, and of course, Kelly of Magical Disney Pals. Thank you all so much. Um, yeah, this was so much fun to get mail and share it with you all. And I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's kind of like a whole conglomerate of things. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what was your favorite item that I got out of all of this stuff. <laughs> and if you want to see more videos just like this, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified of every time I post a video. I upload on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but right now I'm kind of, I have so many video ideas and I just really want to be filming that I might be doing more than just two videos a week. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and of course, if you want even more of me, you can find me on Instagram at louisa.ruby. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with a brand new video. Bye!